السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته A lot of uh, imams, hafiz in the month of Ramadan, they lose their voices because of a lot of efforts that they put uh, in their citation. And I just wanted to share with you one advice. I used to be the same thing. I used to start in the first day very excited and I give it all the first day and my, I do my best and my voice goes up and down. So I lose it the next day or in the middle of the month of Ramadan. So I feel tired that I'm, I'm actually, you know, I can't keep up the same uh, momentum. But there is one advice that I learned from the scholars of the recitation. What did they mean of scholars? Those who are big reciters from Egypt. Uh, whenever they started the recitation, you feel that they just woke up. They just uh, woke up and they are starting their day. Like Imam uh, Sheikh Mustafa Ismail in Egypt, whenever he started the recitation, you would tell like he's still sleeping. He will say, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You feel like he's still sleeping. I want you to do the same thing. When you start the first day in the month of Ramadan, uh, when you start your tarawih, start easy. You see the, uh, the way that I'm talking right now, it is just I'm not making any effort to talk. I'm not saying, oh, you have to do this, you have to. No, I don't, I don't say that and I, do the, I don't do that. I just speak naturally. And this is the way that I'm gonna recite. So the way you speak, the way you start your recitation. Remember this, the way you speak, the way you talk, the way you start your recitation. So when, when I start the first day in the month of Ramadan, uh, or the first tarawih, I go ahead and say, Allahu Akbar, and I say, you're still listening to my, my voice, my natural voice, right? So what I'm going to do is, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Malik Yawm Al-Din, Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'een, the same exact uh, voice, natural voice that I'm talking with, I will recite with. Understand what I'm saying? So don't make an effort and then in the end of the day, you find yourself unable to continue. So don't just overburden yourself. That's what it means. Don't overburden yourself and start naturally. And you know what? The beautiful voice that you're looking for will come naturally later. All what you need to worry about is to get the Quran from the heart, is to recite from the heart. So it will reach the hearts. They say what comes from the heart reaches the hearts, right? So all that you need to worry about is to recite from the heart. The next thing I want you to do in the month of Ramadan, read tafsir before you start the recitation. For the juz that you're going to recite, inshallah, for example, tonight you're reciting the first juz. Go ahead and read tafsir. One of the easy, uh, the easy tafsirs that you can find uh, to understand the meanings of the ayat, to understand the meanings of uh, the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because when you understand it, you will be able to recite it the proper way and it will reach people's hearts. Again, number one thing you need to worry about is to fix your intention, that your intention is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for you and Allah will put uh, the uh, acceptance in the hearts of people for you and Allah will accept for you. May Allah accept from you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us all the Arab Ayin. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us all reach Ramadan, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa